Hey everyone, um, so this should be a short video just to show you some of the things you have to do to get the Jet KVM reset. If you're like me, you've probably forgotten your password, which is a silly thing to do in my case, but anyway, so here we are. So you can't just reset the email or anything like that. You have to go through a little bit of a process to reset the, um, to basically reinstall the Jet KVM firmware. So what you'll need for this is you'll need a pin over here. You'll need to disconnect the Jack KVM wherever it was and put it on the local machine where you're going to be able to reset the um, firmware. So I've got it plugged into a, an Ethernet cable and I've got it at the back Ethernet cable and I've also got it plugged into the USB into the local machine. So let's go. You click on this um, uh, forget password box. That brings you to this page down here. So this is, sorry, procedure is for Windows 11 machine. So click factory reset, factory reset guide rather. And then in my case, we're gonna choose Windows. I've got a Windows 11 machine. I'll click Windows 11. And then it brings up to this page here. So on this page, you need basically three things. Let me just go back to the page we were on. So down here, before you do that, just download the Jet KVM firmware on this down here it says download latest kvm firmware so click on that and what you should get is an update image file this one here so store the image remember where it is in my case it's on the c drive i did try it on a network drive and for some reason it didn't work but anyway so then when you go to the um next page here you will need to first of all download the driver so you click here it downloads a driver file which is this one here it comes up with driver assistance unzip the file double click it and then double and then install the driver when you double click that driver install file you'll get this uh, uh, dialog box here click install driver that will install the driver at that point uh, it doesn't give you a confirmation box that, that i could remember but anyway install the driver reset the, uh, restart the machine at that point so everything's in the system after that, the next one is down here, the flashing firmware. Click on, click here to download the firmware. When you download the firmware, you'll unzip it again and you'll come up with this thing here, SOC Toolkit. Right click and then open as administrator. So when you first install it, uh, first run it, you'll see this dialog box um and it will say 1106 which is what we want it might say a different number but in our case we want 1106 click ok but you won't be able to see anything under this usb connector here which is what we want so i'm going to close that dialog box again and now we're going to reset um the machine uh, reset the jet kvm so to do that get a little pin in the little box on the side and the little hole on the side i'm going to press that in one side disconnect the usb so disconnect to the USB, the image screen has gone black, blank. I'm gonna press this pin in. I'm gonna reconnect the USB, then count to three. One, two, three, and I'm gonna let go of this pin. And then hopefully that's in reset mode. The way you know it's in reset mode is that the screen remains blank as opposed to it doesn't come up with what it used to before to say Jack KVM. So now let's try it. So here's the software again, right click, start as administrator, and basically now it should say 1106, click okay. But more importantly, up here under USB, it says MassGrom211. This is what we want. So down here, click on firmware and bring in the file that we saved. In this case, it was temp, it was image, this image file here, open. And there it is, it's in the image. I'm gonna press upgrade now, and then all it should start doing its job. There you go, on the right side, you can see it's starting to unzip. We're up to 20%, it's a fairly quick process, actually, I thought it'd take a lot longer, but it's doing it at fair enough of uh, fair speed. So 74%, my Jet KVM screen, if you look, is still blank. Right, this process is finished, succeeded, and look at the blank screen of the Jet KVM, it's come up and now says no network and there you go, it's connected to a network. All done, that's all it is. So close all this down and then up here, I'm gonna log into the Jet KVM. Sorry. And 
there you go. That is your reset page or factory uh, default page. Here you just click on, as you did once in the beginning, set up your Jack KVM, authentication mode for us, password protected. Continue, put in your new passwords, and you're done. So hopefully that'll help uh, anybody that's trying to reset their Jack KVM. And uh, so you guys have a good day.